Lynn's Kitchen is the place to be if you want something good to eat. Welcome back to Lynn's Kitchen. I'm back with you today, and y'all know what time it is. It's getting cool outside, and I know some of the other states are cold. Well, we just got cold down here in uh, Louisiana for my taste. And so when I get cold and I want something good and hearty for me, first thing I think about is my chili. And yes, everybody does chili, but everybody does it a different way. So I want to invite you in today to uh, come, come along with me so that I can show you what I do for my chili. So I'm gonna start out with, uh, I'm gonna take this top off. And because I did have a little cut, I have a Band-Aid, but a Band-Aid on it, but I'm gonna put on my glove anyway. So I need to start off with my, my, uh, my pot here. I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna put some um, oil in here, just a little bit. Oh, look at that, it's ready. I cut that down just a little bit too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my, my uh, vegetables that I cut up. And I cut that down some. It's cut down a little bit. Yeah, I cut it down. So what I have in here is my green pepper, my onions, and uh, green onions. And I'm gonna go ahead and saute these. Now, look at that. And that's starting to fire, y'all. It was up a little high. I just wanna, let me get my thing here. I want to open up the flavors to my, there we go, I like that. Open up the flavors just a little bit. And let this get a little. Look at that, mm, even that smells good. But anyway, I cut these things up before and prepared them before so that it wouldn't be long. And we're just gonna make sure that we open up the taste to, to, the, to this. I don't have to use it all, I'm gonna use it all. It's mine, I'm gonna use it. I love my onions, as I said before, so I always use two types of onions whenever I cook anyway. Okay, I got my soapy water ready for my dishes in between the time where I'll be cooking and cleaning them. I mean, cleaning as I cook. Ooh, just the onions alone smell good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. You know, my, 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 my prayer for everyone is that no matter what you go through or what you face, um, you, you'll make it through. Um, I don't wanna sound like a broken record, but today I had I had an encouragement word. You know, I look around and the things that are happening, and it really looks like that's good. I just wanna give them a little glassy. But uh, I was encouraged by reading um, Philippians 4, 19, where it tells God, God, it says God will meet every, one of your needs. And I want you to be encouraged because no matter what challenges we face in life, no matter how hard it seems, no matter what comes before us, God is able to, and I'm not preaching, but I'm telling you what I know, God is able to meet, meet our needs. Even when we think that everything is, is a waste of time, it's not. God knows what we're going through and he knows just what to do in that time period for us. So be encouraged, lift up your spirits and lift up your head. You know, these things that are before us are not greater than the guy, the guy that I serve, that I know. And I'm not telling you that because I think and I know it. Now what I have in here, I have my tomato paste and I'm gonna add that. Uh, I use Catalina because that's what I grew up on. But you can use any kind of tomato paste, and I use two small cans of Catalina. That's what I put in mine. I'll put that in there next. Mmm, that smells good already. Oh my goodness. So as I start getting all of this together, I'm gonna cut my, my heat up a little bit because I want everything to, oh look at that. I'm gonna stir that a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do. And I got a big pot because I've got some company coming, and so I like to have my uh, leftover for more than one day, so I'm gonna make sure that everybody's gonna get filled up, but I'm gonna have some leftover. So now I put that, I'm gonna put this on higher. I have that in there. 
I'm going to also add, I use Heinz, Heinz ketchup. So I'm gonna put some, I don't know how many squirts y'all, but I have one long squirt, two long squirt, three long squirt. And for you that are just joining us, um, I'm not that type of cook that measure all the time. I'm learning that some things I do have to uh, let you know about, but I'm gonna add some water. I don't know how much, I'm just gonna add some as this cooks along. So that was three big squirts of ketchup. And you can you can use what you want to. I mean, everybody has a way of making, you know, their own um, recipes. Sometimes you don't add, you know, you add different things. And I love chili because chili, man, it is a hearty meal. It's good. And you can make it any kind of way you want to. Uh, I know that there's chicken chili and I've heard of putting pork in there and and real beef. So that's cut up and I'm gonna stir this so I get this um, liquefied the way I want to to get, you know, break up some of this paste. But yeah, I just, uh, if you're turning in, thank you for coming. We welcome you, new and old subscribers. And look, I'm making a mess because I'm splashing. But I'm excited about this, oh my goodness. Um, let me do it, I didn't like it much. Okay. So I'm gonna, I cut that up. I want this to really, okay, we got some more. But um, I want to welcome you here. Um, you're always welcome. Just come on and sit down and relax yourself if you get off from work but you just want to join me. Um, a lot of my recipes will, will be, um, of my recipes will be at the bottom. Uh, you can get them. Um, and just come on. I'm glad that you're here. So I've stirred that. So I'm going to stir with the things that I do use in this. Um, I use the ketchup already, the honey. So we're going to put that aside. Oh, the next thing I use, this is my other, my other secret. This is a whole can, like the medium sized can. This is, what is it? Manwich. Yeah, manwich, y'all. And I know some people say you use that in sloppy joes. Yeah, well, I use it in my in my in my recipe right here. Um, and I love chili. This is one of the things that we grew up on too. That I that was a favorite of mine that my mother used to make. I do love it. But I've taken and, and done a little you know extra with it since I've gotten grown and I cook for myself. You know you 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 still want mama's taste, but then you want your own thing. So this is this is just something that I do. And stir that in there, and this smells so good, Josh. Can smell it, okay? Okay. And I'm a type of cook. I, I like I said, I don't measure. Again, I'm using my my complete. Just sprinkle it in there. I cook to taste, and I, you know, touch. You know, it's like having that sense of how much you uh, want to put in. So this is my garlic powder. You just put that in there. Gotta have my garlic powder. Then I use my onion powder also, okay? Gotta use that. Those are my go-to's when I'm cooking. I, I gotta have one of the three. And then there's my, my chili. You can use any, I mean, on these ingredients are mine. You, you don't really necessarily have to, but I like this. Um, this complete is pretty good on mostly everything, whatever, you know, vegetables, chicken, any meats, you know? And um, it's gonna be good in this soup too. So then this is my chili powder. And you don't have to get this, but this is what I use when I can afford it, you know? Um, come on, chili powder. See, it's not coming out like I want it. See, I'm gonna open it up, cause I know I, there we go. See, I like to, there we go. And I know somebody said, that's a lot of stuff. But this is, this is how I, I like my chili. This is how I like it, okay? I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way so I can have more room. Okay. I'm gonna stir in this, stir this. Oh, it smells so good. I wish I could smell this. It still it smells good. But I'll, okay. Let's get down in there and see those spices. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so again, like I said, um, this is an easy recipe. It does, you know, depends on how you how you wanna how you wanna do your chili. But uh, this is how I do mine, and my family seems to like it, and other people, you know, that come around, they seem to like it. 
And I'm thankful for being able to be able to share this with you. So I just said again, come on in and relax. And um, again, we welcome you into the kitchen. Okay. So I know you're saying, okay, and then the other thing I use in here, I'm not finished. I use chili mix seasoning. Okay, it's just great value. Um, chili mix. You go to the Walmart to get this. And you don't have to use this in your recipe, but these are some of the things that I use in mine. Um, and I'm gonna use two, cause I double up on everything because of the amount of chili that I'm making. You, if it's just one or two people, you could just use one pack, you know, one one pack of what, whatever. And you don't even have to use this. Do it the way you do it. But I'm just sharing with you the way I do it. And then guess what? Another secret, I use taco seasoning in mine too. Yes, I do. I use taco, taco seasoning. Love it. And again, I'm doubling up, so I'm using two packs. Two packs, okay? And this again is great value. Great value. Come on out. Oh. There we go. Okay. All right, and we're gonna stir all of this in, okay? Oh, it smells so good. You can smell the spices and things. I'm so glad you're here today with me. This does warm the soul, I tell you. It does. And I love it. And I'm thankful that you guys have joined me. I'm thanking you for uh, my subscribers um, that are, are riding with me. Thank you so much. Um, for riding with me and I hope that you you will continue to ride with me and and things will get better as we go but look at that it's gonna stir that in let that stir okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let this boil up and cook up to its potential and then when I come back we'll be adding uh, the meat and we'll be adding the beans and we'll be adding a little a little extra more of what I need in, in my spaghetti I mean in my chili here so I will come back, okay? I'll see you when I come back, okay? Okay, we're back, okay? We're gonna check on our chili. And it is a bubble in, look at that. Okay, this is time for me to put other stuff in there. And, let me move this top over here. So now I have with my, I have my beans with me, and I use two types of beans. I use the chili kidney beans, and I use black beans, okay? And I have, for my meat, I know you can use you can use any type of meat. So this time, I'm preferring to use um, what am I turkey. I'm using turkey meat, ground turkey. Okay, and this is how it looks. You do it just like you do um, ground beef. And here are my beans. I have four cans of maybe uh, kidney beans in here, and one one can. Oh, this is coming off. One can of the black beans, okay? I had them sitting aside. So I'm gonna add my meat right now to this. Get that in there. Oh, look at that. And y'all, this is so simple. I mean, you don't, you don't have to go by my recipe. I just wanted to share it with you. This is what I do for mine. Um, there are so many ways, like I said again, to make chili and stuff. And just get in the kitchen and do it, especially this time of year. Um, this. You know, the turkey is a little bit healthier uh, in some aspects, but you know what? And a lot of people say, oh, I don't like turkey meat. Um, I, I don't know if it's a like, higher taste that many of us, you know, have with it or, or whatever, but we, we use turkey and sometimes I do use, um, you know, the hamburger. So here go my beans. Put them in there. There we go. See, I told you I was making a big pot because we got a lot of people. And then like I said, you know, anything that I have left over, let me put this in my water. Anything I have left over, you know, hey, that's 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 a good thing for me because again, um, I just use it for freeze it and use it when I don't feel like cooking. So yeah, look at that, y'all. That looks so good. So good. And I am gonna I'm gonna test it. Ah put that back there. I'm gonna test it, y'all. Taste test. Remember, get your, get your some spoon. So you won't mess up the other ones if you taste you want to throw these away. But we're gonna test it and see. Mm. 
Yep. Now, what I didn't do before is I'm gonna add some pepper, okay? A little ground pepper, black pepper. A little black pepper. Okay. And I'm gonna add my mixed garlic. Okay, I do have powdered garlic in there. So I'm gonna use about two teaspoons of this. Because I like my garlic. Some people don't. You don't have to put that in there if you, if you don't if you don't prefer that. And now look. Some people, why do you have jelly? This sounds bad, or maybe you go, uh, but I'm gonna tell you something. This grape jelly gives it even more of an abundance of flavor. It is so good. Um, I can't remember. My mom didn't used to do this, not that I remember. So I'm gonna do two, how about two and a half? And I'm telling y'all, it, it is good. If you, if you ever wanna, you know, have a different type of taste to your chili, just try that, okay? Just, just try some jelly. And first time I did it, I think my husband thought I was crazy. And so we're gonna put this up back on high. And then the last thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add my stewed tomatoes because I love stewed tomatoes. So I have uh, maybe a, a, a can and a half. And again, because of all that I'm doing, it's called stewed tomatoes and it's from great value, okay? So because of what I'm doing, it's stewed or diced. You can get the stewed or diced. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let this boil. I'm gonna let it simmer, no, for about maybe another um, another 20 minutes or so so that, that the beans can get cooked up. And then I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, y'all, we are back. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna cut this down because we don't want none scorch. Oh, it smells so good in here, y'all. That's what you want. Well, that's what I want. Here's my chili. So you know, my God, I would love to invite y'all. Oh, so we're gonna remove this and I'm gonna remove this top and put it here. And we're gonna have to do a little taste, y'all. You know, I gotta taste it. Oh my goodness, man. And some people like this sick, but I don't, I like mine at a, you know, almost like a soup because I like what I like to do is I like to take my crackers. Yes. Let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm gonna be hot. It smells so good. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I wish I could give y'all some. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's real good, y'all. Mmm, mmm. I think my company will be real pleased tomorrow. Let me put this aside and we're gonna plate this, okay? We're gonna plate it with some of my favorites. So, okay, I'm gonna put all this aside. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off so no scorching. Right here. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Nice. And so good. It's chilly up here. The nights, I mean, some places are cold, are colder. But you know, once it started getting 40 for me, I'm done. I'm done. So I'm going to put that there. And some things that we put on it. I'm going to share some things. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I like to use two different types of crackers sometimes. These are the wheat rich crackers. And just take them, set them alongside there. A little decoration. And then sometimes I like my saltines. I'm gonna get a scissors. For those of you who don't, and you can use, I mean, any type of cracker. Uh, we used, when we were growing up, we used to use these crackers and the, the little shell crackers. Okay, I'm just gonna make it pretty for you. Just to make it a little bit inviting. But this is such a, a good 
a good warm dish. Oh my goodness. For the season. And like I said, when I've got some left over, guess what? Oh, and it tastes so much better, you know, like the next day or so. Two days later, it tastes so good. So the next thing we're gonna add I'm gonna add some jalapenos. But you know, every now and then a good little hot jalapeno will do you good. Some of those jalapenos in here. Okay. Not too many. But for you guys who like spice, okay? And after we do that, I know my did come. But for you like the spice to go down in there. I do that. And I'm gonna add some cheese in there. Look at that. Add a little cheese in there. Cheese. Ah, they're my favorite. Oh my goodness. My favorite. Not much. As they say, add a little dollop. A little sour cream. And there you have it. You got chili. It keep you warm. And it keep you filled up for the season. That's Lynn's chili. And I'll invite you all back to the kitchen with me. I thank you for your time. Remember, guys, I'd like for you to like, hit that thumbs up. I'd like for you to comment. And I also would like for you to uh, hit that notification bell so that when we are at our next coming videos, you'll be able to receive them and also, you know, share, share. So till next time, I love you and come on back to Lynn's Kitchen and I'll be seeing you, okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.